Hello group. I have uh, my rats out, some adapters, and a couple cameras. And this is for John, David, and Howard. Um, I know these guys, one of these guys, or maybe even two of you, have a Raza 8. And uh, one is thinking about it. So the first thing I want to do is show how the uh, DS-287 would connect to one of the... Well, let me start here first. The Raza comes with two adapters. Inch and a quarter and uh, T2. Inch and a quarter is a little taller. If I can do this, you'll see the inch and a quarter is just a little taller than the T2. And in fact, the T2 has got a little bit of a dip in it, if you can see the lip right there. So uh, I did all the measurements, I checked them twice, and hopefully my math is good. So what you would do with uh, the 287, because I believe the 287 is, is uh, the back focus on that is 17 and uh, a half millimeters, is just screw it on. And uh, the height of this adapter is 11.3 millimeters. And with the 17.5, that gives you 28.8 millimeters of back focus. And how they calculate the back focus is from the faceplate to the sensor surface. So calculating all of that, those little goodies, were about, uh, well, the total back focus of the Raza is uh, 28.73. So we're 0 0.07 millimeters over which I don't think that's going to matter. And with this chip being so small, I don't think you'll notice uh, any vignetting uh, at all with this camera. Oops. So that's the 287. And the other thing uh, that I'll go over is the Raza comes with a clear glass, which I'm screwing off now, window that protects the optics. This is also where they put their filters. So when, if you buy a Raza uh, UV filter, I only think they have the one it replaces this uh, it replaces this clear glass so if you're going to run the 287 then you're going to need to get their filters because uh, there's just not enough back focus to put a filter in on the end of the camera and uh, still be able to get your back focus in fact the uh, black uh, adapter with the C on it has the clear glass, quartz glass in the bottom of it. So if you take this off to put a filter in it, not only are you going to change the total back focus of the camera, but you lose the protection of the quartz glass that's on in the camera. So that is the 287 and my next adapter is going to be the T2 and the uh, because of the lip it's about four millimeter from the base to the edge and because of the dip you lose uh, 0.6 mil so uh, 0.34 plus the 
17 and a half millimeters, uh, you, you come up short about 7.83 millimeters for total back focus. So I have an eight millimeter, or not, I'm sorry, I have a three and a five, or let me start again. This is an eight millimeter and this is a three millimeter. And if I put the eight on, then I can use uh, this eight millimeter and screw this on and I'll be about 0.17 millimeters over the recommended back focus, but I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Now how I was using filters with this is I got a T2 to 125 adapter, a ZWO T2 to 125 adapter. And what that did is uh, let me use my inch and a quarter filters that I have, and I would put that inside of the camera and bury it. I put it would I'd screw it in until I couldn't screw it in anymore. So I would have the filter adapter and the filter inside the camera. Then I would connect the uh, that to my eight eight millimeter spacer and the T2 adapter that comes with the Raza. So I could run uh, pretty much any of the one uh, inch and a or yes inch and a quarter filters that I own with this camera. But the problem I was having is because the chip is uh, 22 to 23 millimeters somewhere in there. I don't know the exact numbers. What was happening is I was getting some slight vignetting with the DS10 and the DS16. Uh, and if you've seen any of my Raza images, you'll, you'll notice that I've been fighting uh, the vignetting with these uh, inch and a quarter filters. Part of it was my back focus, and part of it's the filter. So what I found was on uh, Ast Astronomy Technology Today, on their front page, they have a, uh, an article that talks about the new Artsky 2-inch ZWO ASI camera filter holder for the Raza 8. And why that intrigues me is I can now use my 2-inch filters on my Raza, and I don't have to buy uh, the one filter that Celestron has. So what you would do, or let me just go through the uh, back focus first. The filter from the back face to the top is 11.15 millimeters. And if you throw the 17.5 on there, that gives you 28.65 millimeters. And uh, that is just a little bit under the 28.73. And I can live with that. That's not, that's not, you know, it's not a big deal. So I'm not even going to worry about it. So I don't need a spacer for this one. So what you do is, let me just stick this over here. I got a two inch adapter here. The adapt or the filter screws into the bottom of the adapter, and it's not the easiest thing to do because it's very tight. Okay, so now I have a two inch filter. I would take my ring like so, screw that on, and 
then I would screw my camera on and I'm good to go. And I, I should, in theory, I haven't had uh, clear skies to test any of this, but I should be able to get rid of all the vignetting on my Raza. So what I did was, uh, because he's, uh, or because the company is in Italy, Milan, Italy, I, uh, when you go to their website, uh, if you're using Chrome or Edge, the new Chromium-based Edge, uh, and depending on the search engine that you have, the uh, it sees that it's a foreign site and it'll ask if you want to translate the, the page and you say yes and then it will turn uh, in Italian into English and then at the bottom of the page on the right you'll see uh, a little tab, it's an orange tab that will ask if you want to send a message which is what I did and uh, I basically asked if they shipped to the States and a gentleman by the name of Luca got back to me and said yes, so we kept the process going. He suggested I try a couple of his dealers in the States. None of them were interested in getting this adapter. So I emailed him back and uh, he sent me a PayPal invoice and I paid it and within three days I got the adapter. So he likes American business. The other thing I wanted to show you is that uh, when you put these adapters into the, the ring, you'll see that there's a lot of slop. And what, what I was finding is that that little bit of slop allowed the camera to drop and off it would uh, the chip was no longer centered on the, uh, the optical path. So what I did was I went to my local art supply store and I got some acid and uh, ligonin free paper and it's kind of like business card thick type paper and I cut it into uh, thin strips and I stick it inside of the ring there's a little uh, depression in the bottom here. And this is enough to take up the slack that I was getting. And you can see that it doesn't move at all. And because it's acid-free paper, if it ever got wet, it's not gonna destroy the aluminum. So I would suggest you guys do that. Uh, What was I was going to talk about? Oh, the uh, uh, filters that uh, the Razo has really aren't made. Well, the filters that Celestron makes, being there's only one, it's kind of a pain to screw this stuff in and out. And generally when I'm using my filters, I, I uh, don't want to disassemble the whole optical train just to change filters. So I generally do a filter run for the whole night. And then uh, if I'm not satisfied with where I was going with those filters, I'll try another filter and I'll use that for the whole night. And uh, with this, Artsky adapter, that's going to be uh, kind of the same problem I would have where I have the camera where I was putting the inch and a quarters inside the camera. Even though I could take the camera off, I'm still messing around at night trying to change filters and that, that just doesn't interest me. And this is even worse because the filter is just about fitting inside of this depression here. 
So it's, it's kind of tough to screw it in and, and screw it out. In fact, I don't even tighten it. I just get it in far enough that uh, I know it's not going to fall out. So I would suggest that uh, you guys go for this adapter. Uh, Luke is a hell of a nice guy. <laughs> Their service is excellent. And for 150 bucks, you can't go wrong. I've spent more than that and not had uh, the same type of satisfaction with, with uh, American companies. So uh, I hope you guys... Oh, the other thing is I was able to find these batter T2 adjustment rings. And there's 15 of them in here. And they range in size from uh, 1.5 mil down to point, uh, say 0.6 or 0.5 mil millimeters. And I use these, they're plastic, like an ABS plastic. And I use these uh, to help me uh, get a little closer if I think I need to get closer. That's where these spacers you don't have enough uh, if I put this three mil spacer on top you'll see that there's a gap I hope you can see there's a gap so the only way this three mil can go on is if I put it on the bottom of the filter so you lose uh, you lose some flexibility with these steel filters or spacers, I should say, versus the plastic ones that go, they would sit right on top of the, uh, or they, they slide over the threads, and that's where you get your adjustment. So I hope you guys, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to, to get a hold of me. You know where I live. Uh, and that's all I have. Talk to you later, group.